PSHE, Life Skills and Citizenship Lessons, Sex Education, the list of names goes on. For a subject so important to the growth of our society's young people, how come it doesn't have a clear title? With a lesson that aids young people in their preparation for the future, whether that be the development of soft skills, mental health studies, or a look at the effects of drugs and alcohol, why does it always feel like a low priority for schools? Why do most schools have hardly any space for it in the timetable? In a survey conducted of young people aged 13 to 19, 91% of them said that life skills education was important, but less than 24% said that they regularly had lessons like this in school. Additionally, 82% of the young people said that life skills lessons are important in developing us as people. It seems that such an important element of the curriculum should be getting a bit more focus, which is exactly what the aim is with this documentary, to shine a spotlight on the life skills and prove just how important this lesson truly is for young people who are entering the adult world. Whether it be youth workers, young people active in the community, recent school leavers or those still at school, the consensus was unanimous. These lessons aren't given enough attention and need to become a staple of teaching. This is why life skills matter. This is about what comes next. First, let's look at what schools currently do. If there's not enough time in the day, how else can this lesson be taught to students? Part of my role is to coordinate PSHE, so I have a focus on Key Stage 3, uh, but I also look at it across the whole school. We want our students to leave here with skills for life, basically. We want them to go into the real world and know what they're doing and feel confident, but a lot of it is about making safe choices, and we want them, when faced with a challenge, that they know the right thing to do or they feel confident in making that decision. Everything that needs covering and what we're trying to fit into the curriculum, the PSHG or the life skills curriculum, um, we, where possible we're trying to embed it within lessons that already exist as well. So as it naturally happens there is a lot within the subject areas that I teach already but also we can look at RE has a lot embedded in there as well and maths in terms of skills for life there. So wherever possible we'll look at everything that needs to be covered. We are trying to embed it into lessons that already exist as much as possible. For some, school is now behind them, and according to the personal experiences and opinions of these two young adults, it did not do enough to prepare them for the real world. My name is Adam Falkus, I'm 18 years old and I'm a former sixth form student. I recall a few lessons but not a great deal I can recall. In year 11, non. Year 9, not even once a week. That's about it. But yeah, we've done, we've done cooking, middle school and that, but there's never the stuff that I feel like people need now, especially myself as well, because I know absolutely nothing about mortgages, taxes, all that kind of stuff, really. I think it should have been so everyone gets taught about it, especially coming up with the election and that. Everyone's clueless. My name is Ash Dixon and I'm 20 years old. I am in my second year at university, so that'll be three, four years since secondary. You could tell the school had asked the teacher specifically, right, you've got to talk about these so we can like fulfill a requirement or something. But it was never expressed as in, with actual intent. They never actually wanted to teach us anything. It was just, these are drugs, don't do them, and they moved on. It was basically once every day as our first hour of lessons, but all they did was take register, let us do our homework. So. Nothing special, just registration really. I think a lot of the teachers think, oh, that's something for the parents to do. And they don't take it upon themselves to offer any kind of support, unless you get like that one special teacher that does care. If people aren't, like, if people don't know the things like drugs, sex ed, stuff after, like life lessons, mortgages and all that, then they're going to be clueless when they leave school. They're not, there's not anyone you can really learn it off of than, other than your parents maybe. Anything that I've learned has been from my parents and even then my mum working a very long hour job she didn't have time to teach me about most of these things and it just means that I basically know how to put money in and out of the bank, I know how to check it, I know how to make an egg, like cooking, things like that, all the basics. I've never ironed anything in my life before. Um, I've barely cooked anything unless it was part of a lesson. For when you're moving out of a house you do need to know how to cook otherwise it's just gonna you're gonna be living a bad lifestyle and just eating you know junk food or whatever. They never seem to prepare you for the basics in life they want to talk about the more important things which is like 
just chemical formulas and balancing equations and it just doesn't come into play in the real world. In my opinion there wasn't as much effort put into the people that are not going to uni and the people who are so people like me are kind of just left out to earn advice isn't that really. It's like they pay the teachers that they want to teach maths and English and science but they don't actively pay a teacher to teach us about the dangers of the outside world and all that kind of thing. There's a lot more to life than what school kind of gears up to be. The way school teaches us is it's so bad. In my opinion the entire school system is based on a memory test. They want us to remember the things that they show us and that's all they care about. However, are there perhaps other ways young people can gain the skills they need for the future? Youth clubs, extracurricular activities, volunteer work, what options are available? Current building in this day and age is absolutely essential. There are, there are so many things that young people are having to face which people of my generation, for instance, perhaps didn't face. There are programmes that exist across the country where they, um, you provide evidence for certain soft skills, soft attributes that you develop. So the, the Prince's Trust, for instance, has um, that particular component. There's, a, there's an expectation for schools to deliver, quite rightly, on, on academic achievement. Uh, and balancing that particularly in a school like ours, which has got such a broad church of ability, backgrounds, etc., is a, is, a, is a real challenge. Leadership, teamwork. Team building. Like communication skills, listening skills. And do you feel school teaches you this? No, not really. Not as much as I think no. it should. <laughs> a lot of things in maths and English you aren't going to use, but these are like vital life skills that you need. It teaches you how to go, like, well, well, learn how to apply for universities and that, so it's good to have that life skill. Um, I think it teaches more like useful things that you need instead of like things you're not really going to use in maths or English. For a young person they can do so much because there's so many like skills that are involved in being part of Jack Drums such as well the, the music the like musician skills and the drama skills and the art skills for one like they're they're the like basic things that you expect but there's so much more than that like there's the confidence that comes with it there's the leadership skills there is um, the social skills of like talking to people, there's so much like more to unfold than just what, what meets the eye really. Working with young people you can see sometimes that they're missing some, some skills which maybe need to be looked at in school and not in a random way as well, something which is directed. I've spoken to a lot of young people after they've left school or you know when they've moved from um, kind of mainstream education into sixth form um, who start to realise that there have been some big gaps in their education and that's when they start to complain. Because there's so much stress put on young people as well and these, these life skills can help people deal with mental stress and physical stress as well so it can help them in their day-to-day -day life. There's probably even less formally taught PSHE in schools now than there was when I was a teacher and that's largely because the curriculum is so crowded. Uh, the national curriculum expects so much of schools and schools find it really difficult to, to find the time to do PSHE very well. I think all these teachers saying that people have lower grades, I think they should add more PSHE lessons because PSHE tells you how to cope with all this stuff so like in exams you're stressing a lot more and all the teachers are saying oh you need to do better and everything but you can't exactly cope with that if you haven't got enough PSEG lessons because you need to learn how to cope with stress. Something else I want is like first aid training because I, I did that in year six and I want to get a recap on it. Uh, they covered a wide range, they covered careers, uh, how to revise and like your sex ed. All the stuff that you don't get taught in normal lessons to give you an insight on what's to come later on in your future and it's good for knowing what your next step is. I think if I could go back to them lessons, I think I would take more from it. Um, but obviously getting to work with young people today, um, I think it is massively important that these lessons are carried out in school. Uh, same as Will, uh, it's really important to learn the life skills. Um, I enjoy coming here because I didn't do much of PSA when I was in school, so being able to come here and give them the life skills back is, is my way of basically 
learning PSA my own way. Some young people have even gone a step further, seeking to create a change without the aid of schools. Rory Scott is a young protester who is using the power of his voice to help inspire change, seen here giving light to the world's climate crisis. I started striking in September and I've been to a total of three strikes um, where lots of young people have come from schools, colleges, um, people have come from work to really strike about the importance of getting government action on the climate crisis. Young people need to know not only how to come up with solutions to solve this crisis, about the crisis itself, but about how we prepare for a world where those effects happen and how we build a better society. And Educating me on a crisis that is going to impact my life so much is not just something you should do, it's your obligation as an educational provider. Elsewhere, youth councils give young people the ability to become decision makers from an early age, from becoming dementia friends to tackling issues on knife crime. As youth council, we're campaigning for, for and as the whole like members of youth, youth parliament across the UK, we're campaigning for a curriculum for life for this exact reason so that everybody has equal access to a lesson that's actually going to teach them about their lives because not everybody is in a family situation in, in which they're going to be taught like and, and learn what they need to learn to be able to survive out here. <laughs> there the are like really like important because mm -hmm. like you know money man management and stuff like that learning like you know financial like education it is really important because the step from being a kid and financially dependent on your parents to then you know being an adult out yeah. in the real world with a job and stuff like it is scary and without that like you know it would just be a much bigger like change and the problem is like a lot of people gloss over topics like they won't mm. like dwell yeah. deep into topics and that's a real big problem because things such as like there's like mental health for example yeah. there's a lot of young people or people in general who are struggling a lot working's hard life, everything's just hard life's hard but PSHA gets you all prepared for it yeah it could help this all comes down to what happens next what change do we want to see made? A lot of you guys are saying it's more just said at you. Do you think the issue is you're maybe not discussing it as much? Mm, yeah. well, especially yeah. when it comes to these kind of topics, the political stuff. Yeah. You need more of a discussion than just it to be said. Yeah. Than just to be said and then just move on to the next thing. Is it just like a roller coaster? Like, here's this bit, here's this bit. Yeah, yeah. instead of a less, yeah, and like a lesson on each one, I feel like we should do like more lessons on each part of it. I do think the youth most definitely need to have a voice. Um, and there's various reasons for that. If we get elected, we want to explore a, about setting up a youth parliament so that we can actually hear um, what youngsters want to say. Some schools will treat it seriously. Others will tuck it off into the, the background and, and some schools will say they don't have the resources. What I would want to see changed would be more useful life skills lessons such as like CVs, taxes, anything like that that is actually useful. Teach what the children want to be taught. The things that we can learn from the real life and real businesses we won't be able to, we may not be able to learn it through the books and stuff. They should not just tell you oh if you don't go to university that's the end of everything. I think it is just really important that young people do have a voice because I know there is the whole stereotype that young people are causing trouble but when you actually look at what they're doing, when you focus on them, they are actually doing something good. So with all these views in mind, what changes need to be made? More of these lessons, more prominence given to them, and more than anything, for young people to have a say in what the lessons cover. Young people are not only the leaders of tomorrow, but as the I Will campaign describes, we can all be the change makers and we can make change today. Let's raise awareness of the lessons by speaking to our teachers. Let's form youth democracy groups of our own. Let's reach out and write to the local MPs to get their support. You can do it. We can do it. Let's change what comes next together. Who's planet? Our planet! Who's future? Our future! Who's planet? Our planet! Who's future? Our future!